this is a story about Riley and Lori and their old backyard concrete swimming pool. When they bought their house, one of the things that they loved about it was all of the fun and satisfaction they got from swimming in and entertaining around the swimming pool. Riley built a tiki bar next to the pool, and for years they enjoyed countless hours with friends and family at the pool. But this was an older pool, over 30 years old, and maintaining it every year was becoming an increasingly more difficult task. It had started leaking several years ago, and the leaking kept getting worse and worse. Finally, in the spring of 2014, Riley was faced with a real problem. Cracks in the concrete walls had opened up, and he knew that even with more epoxy in the cracks and another coat of paint, the pool would not hold water. His pool guy suggested a vinyl liner, but told him that those wedding cake steps would be a problem. Riley decided to remove the steps, and he picked up a sledgehammer and started to smash them out. It quickly became obvious to him that this wasn't going to work. He started to think that he might need a whole new pool. Frustrated, he picked up the phone and called a local, reputable pool company. He told them that he was looking to have a liner installed in his pool, or maybe install a new pool. But when they heard his story, they immediately set up an appointment to show him how pool hide could be the best solution. Carol, the pool hide rep, met with Riley and Lori and showed them the samples of the pool hide. She showed him how the 60 mil reinforced PVC membrane was so much stronger, thicker, and more durable than a regular vinyl liner, which are typically 20 mils and not reinforced. Even dogs can easily tear thin 20 mil vinyl liners, but not 60 mil PVC pool hide Carol explained how the pool hide would be installed to completely waterproof the swimming pool and provide a smooth, color-fast, beautiful finish that would seal right over the cracks and the old paint. Riley and Lori liked the idea. They liked the price and that they could pick a color that they liked. And they just wanted to know how fast it could be finished. They were planning a party. The first thing that had to be done was to make the pool ready for the pool hide installation. Todd, the mason, repaired the steps that Riley had smashed with the sledgehammer, and he installed a standard vinyl liner skimmer housing receiver so that when the pool hive would be installed, it could be gasketed and sealed with a faceplate screwed into the housing, using the same standard fittings that a vinyl liner pool uses to provide for water tightness. These fittings are off-the-shelf available at pool distribution warehouses and work nicely with pool hide. In this case, Todd simply cut out a section of the concrete wall and mortared the receiver part of the skimmer housing into the pool wall. Next, Todd routed out around both of the return lines, exposed the pipe on the return lines, and attached two standard vinyl liner return fittings to the plumbing and then mortared them into place. Again, these are standard vinyl liner return fittings available at any pool distribution warehouse and allow for the pool hide to be gasketed with faceplates screwed into the housing to achieve water tightness. Although this pool had a main drain at the bottom, it had been plugged years before because the underground pipe had leaked, and it was decided that the best choice was to simply fill the old drain in with some cement and get rid of it. Pool hide is heat welded at the site in order to custom fabricate it to the job for each and every pool. However, to attach the pool hide to the pool itself with a watertight seal, we use a special metal strip that is pre-coated with pool hide. Then we attach the metal strip to the pool with Hilties around the entire perimeter of the pool. Now it was time to line the pool's walls and floor with pool fleece, a non-woven geotextile fabric that covers all of the surfaces of the pool and protects the liner. The pool fleece is quickly cut to shape on site with the scissors and attached to the pool walls with either an adhesive or with Hilties to hold the pool fleece in place. It goes up simple and fast. And then we heat the pool hide directly to the metal strip and weld it in place. Eric, our chief pool hide installer, can be seen here performing this weld. When we're welding pool hide together, our welders use hot air, very hot air, to melt the pool hide together during the welding process. The welding technique consists of two parts. First, we tack weld the two sheets together about one and a half inches in from the edge. Then we perform a second weld directly along the edge of the joint. 
In a final step, we place a bead of liquid pool hide along the seam to blend it in for a better look. This double welding technique ensures that the weld will be both strong and completely watertight. Eric started with the walls of Riley and Lori's pool, and he made short work of getting them up. Doing the rounded edges of the wedding cake steps would take more time, but Eric's technique of cutting and welding the pool hide turned into a perfect job. Finally, the floor of the pool was laid out and welded. It was time to fill the pool and cut in the skimmer and returns. Riley and Lori's party was coming up fast, so they decided to truck water in to fill the pool and voila! An instant, perfectly watertight pool with a beautiful, smooth new finish that will last for years. Riley and Lori couldn't be happier. They're back to enjoying their pool, having their friends and family over, and Riley's Tiki Bar is once again a huge hit with everyone. So when you're thinking renovation, think pool hide. It may be the best solution.